But we got this cave mod. Uh, so we'll go for the default settings. There's a few uh, config options. Let's just fly around, take a look. Just take a look and see what we got here. Looks like lava is much more substantial. Basically increases the size of the caves a bit. Let's see. Interesting. Let's look at this section. Fairly low roofs. Yeah, I mean you would never get a structure like this in the normal game, right? With this with this sort of roof. It's never like that. Alright, so this time I've changed the settings around a lot. Uh, ease and depth, I changed from 15 to 0. I bumped up the noise cutoff value, the surface cutoff value. So with the ease and depth and the surface cutoff value, by doing what I did there, there's going to be a lot of caves at the surface. Um, and with the no ease in, it means there's literally they start right on the surface. I also doubled up the warp amplifier setting currently looks like. So let's have a look what we've got. Yeah, and I increase the warp of the caves. So this is more like it reminds me a bit like a like invasion or something. Maybe my surface cut off value is too low because I'll tell you what I ended up with here. It's something that looks fairly similar to the last one. And that's not going to help anyone. All right, so I realized right the uh what i would what I had is uh, I think I had this too low before, so I actually put it at a positive number. It's actually set at a lower number than this set at close to zero, but I put it at a higher number, and I also put so the ease in depth is twenty five and I increased uh the horizontal compression multiplier, also ramped up the vertical and warp amplifiers. Uh, we've, got, we've got a different result this time because I've already looked. Uh, why am I? Uh, this is the result we've got. Interesting. There actually are some cave structures. The problem is, is that down here, it looks like this, which is kind of I think this may be to do with the what I could do right is just just change like one setting at a time now because I feel I know what the problem is at this at this juncture and this is not bad okay so we've got another option here this time I've got horizontal compression is 15, vertical compression is 3. It'll probably still be fairly small, won't it? Because it's just compressing them. Let's have a look. Interesting. So basically, the, the structure of these is just, um, yeah, one's, one's compressed horizontally, one's compressed vertically. Okay, so I really dramatically reduced the vertical compression multiplier and the warp as well. And 
but I've maintained the, the high horizontal compression. But you can see that now there's a lot more in terms of these these uh, these sections almost look like columns in this in this part. And they're fairly frequent. So what I could potentially do is if I just uh, decreased uh, the horizontal compression, we might actually get some things that really look like columns, which would be quite cool to try that. So let's decrease the horizontal uh, compression and see what happens then. Okay, so I, I increased the warp a little bit. I brought the compression, the horizontal compression down to a more reasonable value. I've still got this uh, noise cutoff value, a uh, very low value, which means large caves. Um, but like, that's fine. And this is the result we got this time. So the columns are certainly uh, more complex, a bit more warped in their, in their look. I think this is a really nice result, actually. Really has a good... Uh, let's have a look. We'll look at the, uh, the top layer. Yeah, I'd need to do to change some other stats to affect anything else. But this has got a good look, sort of... Um, yeah, I think it's quite a good look, this. Um, just thinking, like... Because the thing is, if I increase the warp, this will get more distorted, the way that this looks, the column. Um... What I could try to do actually is decrease the warp, but and also yeah. What I'm going to try next, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to decrease the warp because I feel like the warp thing didn't really help me much there. So we'll decrease the warp, and I'll bring the horizontal compression down a little bit as well. And we'll well we'll see, yeah we'll see how that one looks. Okay, what I done this time, yeah, so like I said, I was going to decrease the warp, which I did, uh, and decrease the horizontal compression. Also, this value with the uh, the size of the caves, it was very, very low. It was close to m minus one. I just just made it a little bit uh, bigger, that number, but not much. And this is the result. So... I quite I kinda of like the result. I think it looks pretty cool. But no well, there is a surface one. There is a little bit of access to the surface, not much. But at least we can see there's certain I like the fact that they look quite like columns, but they still do a little bit look like columns. I was hoping that by reducing the warp that these would be like uniform. Um the problem is though is that as they as the as the things get bigger, it's like I mean they're not I mean they're not far off being uniform, right? They probably are uniform, but because they're bigger it they don't look quite as uniform as you'd want. Um But I think as far as it goes, it's not bad. It's pretty cool. Um, one final change I'm going to make, I think. If I change the cave size, though, wouldn't that just change it up here? Mm. I'm just super curious to see what happens if I change the cave size. Because I kind of understand what the horizontal and vertical compression do. I'm just curious about the... Let's change the cave size to completely the other end of the scale. Okay, so I completely changed this value of the cave size, right? So it was minus point... It was minus 0 0.78, and now it's 0 0.78. So it's about the smallest you can get. And the result's are interesting. <laughs> Basically, what it looks like is just that those columns... They're the only thing that spawn now.
um, but they still look about the same size. So there's that. Um, but anyway, I think that's going to do it for now, so thanks for watching.